Hi YouTube, Edward Tyndall here. This is the follow-up video. I had four underground reptiles. I called them, and they said that they uh, were they apologized for messing up the order. And uh, I told them that I was missing 12 Avic Avic, so they said they were sending me a replacement and um, three extra pink toes for my inconvenience, which I uh, I was. Uh, very excited about I think I thank you underground reptiles a lot for that uh, I wasn't really worried about it because I've done a lot of business with underground reptiles and they've always done me good so we're gonna do this unboxing and then I'm gonna rehouse and show y'all how serious I am about the um, pink toe breeding project that I'm working on it'll be amazing so Although y'all know what's in this package, there could be surprises. I would continue watching because it's going to be cool. I'm also going to try to offer some of them food because off cam the other day, I got some of the greatest kills I've ever seen in my life off of these guys. I highly recommend them to anyone as a beginner. Whoa. Okay. Or take that. All right. Does that look like a? <laughs> does that look like a package of spiders, people? Or does that look like a package of spiders? All right, we're gonna rehouse these. Um, here we have the three that I had got from Palp Friction, Avicularia one, two, and three. And then we have since then set up three. So these were um, field collected specimens wild caught. I got a WC on the bottom. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So there is a whole Avic Tyndall family there. <laughs> All right, we're going to see what's going. Everything that appears to be alive and well. We have one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Wow. That is awesome. I believe I just covered seventeen. Let me make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yes, 17 from uh, from uh, underground. And the reason for that, I assume, is because they want to make sure that they have happy customers. And they do. Uh, very happy customers. I appreciate y'all very much. Y'all didn't have to uh, do that, but I'm glad that y'all took the extra effort. That just shows how much integrity your company has. And you have my support 100%. I highly recommend underground reptiles to anyone and if your order ever gets messed up don't fret don't cry they will uh, make it right matter of fact they paid shipping on everything and even gave me the option to add more things with their shipping if I wanted here's another pink toe here um, there's no water in this why there no water in this Supposed to get all these set up yesterday. Yeah, here we go. Here's how water goes in here, people. Uh-uh. No way. Alright, I'm making a getting a mess here. Alright, I hope that I'm on here where they can see. I need some something to clean that if you don't mind. So I'm gonna be here for a while. Alright, here is this pink toad. Hopefully it'll go right into that door. Yes. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful and wonderful. We will do the transfer of all these Avix. And then we will. Where's the lid? The lid is right oh, here. I want to move fast if I can. Really fast. Next. Keep them coming. We have a lot to transfer, and then I want to see if we can get some hits on these guys. This one. That one's going. This one's got one. I just don't. 
I hope I'm on camera. Am I? You think I'm catching all this right here? Uh, I think so. I hope so. There's a bigger one, people. Whoa, look at that. Look at that spider, people. How big it is. Okay, we're gonna put him in there. Really nice, very handle old, handle, handle able. That's why I water either. I water these as I go. Yeah, here. Take this. Is there any more of them without water? No, that's it. I hope so. Sorry, people, I tried to have this done as much as I could for y'all. Next. I hope I'm on film. They're going to have to stay tuned for, I don't know if they're all going to eat today, but there's going to be some epic feeding videos going on with these guys. Hey, buddy. Stay in there. They're very nice tarantulas. Like, extremely nice. We're also going to do a communal setup of these and I will monitor that progress for you guys as well. Here's another one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Alright. Alrighty then. Do you think it's catching the actual drinks work on the film or not? I can't see my camera no more, people. That's why I'm concerned. I don't want y'all missing stuff. I know people love seeing transfers go smoothly or not smoothly. I watch a lot of transfer videos. I'll see one tarantula and all hell breaks loose. And I think it's cool to have multiple tarantulas transfers. Check this out. They automatically know. They know what a human is. They, it's nothing they want to bite. If you put a roach near them and it is on like Donkey Kong, I'm not even kidding. So I don't know what I have. Males, females, when uh, as I find out, I will mark them and then all of you, you guys will know. We'll breed them, we'll have captive born babies from wild caught specimens that we know is 100% true to what they are. Get in there, get in there, you little thing. Okay. that that's one through twelve complete yep. really there's one in every one of them uh -huh. all right let's see can we move that by any chance yeah. hmm. put that water to lid back in there we'll move that we'll put this on the side here people going to try to set this up where y'all can get a kill shot I know they just I just transferred these but who knows they might be hungry well he dropped he jumped and dropped with it in his mouth. I don't know if y'all caught that or not. They are jumpers. <laughs> oh, yeah, they grabbed it off the side like every one of them does. Oh, uh, here he comes up the side now. Here he comes up the side with a roach in his mouth. That is one happy tarantula. Don't ever forget, or don't ever think that it's too soon to feed your tarantulas. They just came through shipping and everything else. My tarantulas, oh, I need that light. Um, I think you like to get it. It won't be a minute. The uh, the tarantulas do I love food. A tarantula with a food in its mouth is a very happy tarantula. And as I go with these, they'll be going up on the shelf. Number 12. Got a shelf set up just for them. Almost to complete a boreal shelf. Um, here's number 11. 
don't want you guys to miss anything. I'm going to try to hold the camera. I'm going to freestyle the camera for a minute, people. Bear with me. Whoa. Off the tongs, people. Off the tongs. Don't ever forget a happy tarantula is a tarantula with something in its mouth. And these are happy tarantulas. Don't forget to say thank you, underground reptiles. Y'all are awesome. I will be doing more business with you. Here, baby. Um, 11. And that's how a magical redhead sets up spiders on the shelf. Well, I had the first one fixed, but. Uh, well, maybe not so magical, but a redhead nonetheless. Can't beat that. <laughs> I'm going to get it when this video is done. <laughs> Ow, I'm getting it now. Watch out with them claws. <laughs> All right, here's a big number 10, people. We're going backwards for you guys. Um, oh, no. We are... Oh, she's threatening to stick a Nancy on me, her dog. Here we go. Oh, shit. Well. Look, people. They're not shy at all. Not in the slightest. Not shy in the slightest. This is just to goes to show you that if you do order from underground reptiles, you are getting a healthy specimen that is ready to eat. They don't play. We're going to number nine. See how many, uh, put another 10 minutes on that clock because I don't want to go over 20. Or I'll have two days of uploading. But I still got to do the uh, uh, transfer of all of the other ones. Here goes this one. Watch this, people. Watch. Don't blink. Don't blink. Don't blink. Oh yeah, and please go and check out Small Town Exotics. Oh yeah, that's a huge shout out from yesterday. Um, get get a channel pulled up so they can see what it looks like. I'm also going to put a link to it in the description below. There's one up in him already. Here's the second one. Yep, we got two. You see that? Two for the price of one, people. You got a good close-up of this? Tell me that ain't absolutely beautiful. Tell me that ain't beautiful. My friends and fans, all my caring, loving ones out there, haters, likers, dislikers, whatever you may be, just know this is cool. I'm assuming these bigger ones might be males. I'm not sure. Um, these might not be sack mates. I know I'm getting good stuck because uh, sometimes things have to be filled, collected to be, in order to get good stuck. Watch this. Did you see that, my friends? Daddy, don't play. Oh, oh. oh this is awesome. Y'all get now. Y'all got to see 12 transfers so far. No, not 12, but however many there was, because I already had three in there. Y'all got to see nine transfers. We are looking at small town exotics, people. Although he has only 30 subscribers, uh, don't let that fool you, because those 30 subscribers are important, and everybody starts somewhere. So go to the link below, click on that. Let's pause this video, uh, and, go uh, to his channel, go to their channel, and please subscribe. Just like I said in my other videos, uh, everybody in the hobby should subscribe to everybody else. He's a uh, awesome YouTuber. They. They. Upcoming. Everybody has to start somewhere, so little bit of support and love we appreciate that you see how they just grab it right out of the tongs um, that's awesome 
people, and then they do their happy dance. You can't, you can't beat that. Um, so I'm gonna put. Sorry, I can't film very long. Grab these faster for me if you can. After I get them, and put them all in order, straight as you can. Here is another one. Where's this one? This one's at the very top here. See this one? This one's definitely a boy. We do have legginess. See this little man eating. Y'all gotta love that, people. You just got to. There's no other way around it but to. And look, you see, he knows that's my finger, or he would be eating that too. Tarantulas are very intelligent. I don't care what anybody says. I know because I experienced it firsthand. They know what a finger is, and they know what a roach is. <clears throat> Matter of fact, I've held roaches in my hand before and had tarantulas climb up my fingers and eat them right out of my hand. I won't be doing that today because I don't have time. We've got more transfers to do in the communal. All right, we're going to push the, push the limit on this one and see what happens. Is there a limit? actually a limit no there's no limit there's no limit of how much these guys will eat now there is a limit but <laughs> this one does not uh, displease at all I'll add more off film probably you'll miss that I apologize but you can't catch all of the action to both hands baby and when you design containers like this make sure you all handle them with both hands because you'll pop the glue like I have in the past there we go. I'm gonna just put this over here. Drop this to this guy. There we go. There we go. Nope, stay in there. Stay in there. Well, or don't stay in there. Come out all over the place. I don't want you. Hold this for me. Get in there. He's so excited he got some food, he don't know what to do. Shining on the, the spider. Quit webbing all over there. Get in there. You gotta quit webbing all over. Quit webbing all over. Well, you all seeing this? Things can go wrong sometimes. You're talking about, oh, there we go. Did he don't have a reach no more? Or does he? No, he dropped it. And yes, we did see the roach, and Edward no. caught it. Oh, there it is. There's the other one. Right, I'm going to put a couple of them in here for this guy. You will get them. He just went through that an ordeal. Well, he tried to catch that one. One more, come on. Right here. Alright, he'll catch them. Um, things go wrong sometimes. Not always, but sometimes. Alright, there's that. <clears throat> put that up there for me if you will. And then get this camera. We have these others to go through people. Okay, so one, two, three, and one, two, three, four, one, two, wow, that's a little bitty thing there, look at that little bitty thing, still a sling, cool, look at that, <laughs> little sling. <laughs> This is cute. Um, Alright. Um, John, we're setting John to the side. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six we're putting in the communal. Mm -hmm. Or did you want to do seven in the communal? Six. Huh? Huh? Six. Alright, so. We'll do six in the communal, we'll put them in, a, in another container. Uh, here, hold this for me. Y'all keep up with this communal and make sure y'all leave in the comments below what you think, what the thoughts are on that. Uh, I believe everything will go well. I often see these in pet stores. Try to hold those as smoothly as possible. I often see these in pet stores. 
We're putting six in here, you said? Mm-hmm. All right, we're going to do a six communal people. we got to keep, keep, uh, keep on the action. There goes one. They're all like size, too. Two. Did they start eating each other living I'd put them in different places. We want them to know that they're together. Three. Let's see how they interact. Who watch that? Four. They're acting okay, I see. Yes. There is four. I'll put a bunch of roaches in here in a minute. Five. I'll see how easy these tarantulas are to handle. I highly recommend these as a the first species. That would be six. There's only one extra. Yeah. We're only putting six in there? Yeah. <laughs> we got our people and then we had, hey, that one tried to attack me, but he didn't quite attack because he realized it was a finger. Isn't that so cool? Now, right, there we go. There we go. There we go, people. Now, how I handle my communals is, hold your camera over here. I'll let some roaches get in here. several roaches in here. And I'll put a piece of potato in there. Done with those roaches. Um, we hold this for a minute. How many minutes already? Did you put me on another 10? Yeah. Here goes this one here. So some of these will be getting roaches in their mouth and some of them will not. I need a paper. Or a potato. I need a piece of potato. I set this up with a potato. Somebody asked me if a potato will mold. Yes, the potato will mold. I have isopods. I have all kinds of other stuff in here. I like setting up things to where got a little piece of uh, rose quartz. Isopods eat mold. Um, the other things. Oh, there's our 20 minute mark, people. We gotta go. Apologize for that. Oh. But y'all got to see some really good stuff. I will monitor the progress of these. Maybe in each video that I do from here on, y'all will be able to see. So we have pink toes with a pink background, rose quartz because it's more pink stuff and uh, some people say go green, I say go pink. So we'll put a little bit, piece of potato right there like that and everything will be fine. The roaches will go to that instead of aggravating the tarantulas. Tarantulas are going to make little socks all in here and everything else, but I won't spoil it for you guys, I'll let you see. Um, so this argumental, there's six in here, right? Avicularia, avicularia, communal, wild caught, and we're putting a uh, times six sticker on here next time you see this. Uh, Y'all be sure to check out undergroundreptiles.com, um, and uh, stay tuned people. Peace, love, and happiness, and all that good shit. Like, subscribe, and tell your friends. Hit that bell. Hit the bell so you get notifications because I upload daily, if I can, almost daily. Check that out. So we have 12 community of avix up here and six here well that's not really a community them are singles and then six here some of these might come up for sale after a while i'm not sure yet so don't quote me on that um just depending on what the sexes are or i might eventually do more communals we do not know yet the future what the future holds but i tell you one thing it's going to be exciting so edward tyndall and sarah tyndall out I said it's certain to well. Certain to well. Bye, peep.